and I'm enjoying dating because I do love men. <laughs> I really do. So, you know, there's no... I mean, the good news is I was. it was, like, dried up for a while. I didn't yeah. have anybody that was saying. Now there's, like, you know, I've got a couple here and there. And... Lou, welcome <laughs> to L.A. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice to be back. Give us an update on life because, you know, as a fan, so, we miss you on our TV. Uh, well, you know, listen, uh, Crappy Lake is still streaming. Yes, I hope you so enjoyed good. Oh Crappy my Lake. God, was that so, so, so funny. much fun. Um, and, you know, the Ultimate Girls Trip we just did. That Ultimate Girls Trip was so much fun. Yeah, but I know really a lot fun. of fans, after watching it, was like, we need our I'm girls back. Back. I know, so and that's why I say we have to really take trips, I think, you know, right. at least once a year. And go at somewhere least once and a somewhere year. different. Because right. maybe that's the, you know, environment. Right. Because I know a lot of fans, though, also were like, okay, maybe this is an opportunity to mix the Roni legacy right. and the new cast. Right, right. But I, it doesn't sound like yeah, that's happening. It's, no, no. I think, I think it's just, I'm pretty sure it's just a rumor. Um, yes. But, you know, uh, like I said, I have other things coming up, other projects. You're always busy. <laughs> well, you know, I love it. You know, Bravo's like family to me, right? So I've been there for yeah. so long, 16 years, been with Bravo. Long time, 13 seasons of the show, and then Crappy Lake, and uh, we're talking about other things. So, and you, you know, I'm not up. going anywhere You're, more, and oh don't worry about God, that. God, <laughs> of course. They would be stupid to not <laughs> to let you go. Because, you know, I think with you look back at all the housewives, mm. and you are... When you think of a housewife, right. it's you. And I'm one of the faces of... You're one of the faces. Mm -hmm. You've told your life story, the yes. ups and the downs. That's right. That's what this show is about, too. Right. You know, because love comes in many ways. And, you know, and... Um, but I also talk about, you know, not being afraid to take a chance on love. Because yeah. what's life worth living without love, right? Which, speaking of love, Lou... <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to ask that. You knew it. You I knew, knew it. And you coming. lined it up perfectly for me. <laughs> There's a lot of rumors that you might be seeing someone new. Nah. Well, I'm dating. Let's put it that way. Okay. I'm, you know, there's nobody that I'm, you know, um, calling my boyfriend right now. But I'm dating and I'm having fun. I just, you know, at this point in my life, I'm, you know... The 50s for me are the best decade because I just feel like I'm in the driver's seat. I'm doing what I love. Um, you know, cabaret is something I really enjoy and work hard at. And, you know, um, and there's a certain freedom there. And I don't owe anybody an explanation. I don't, you know, have to show up anywhere or, right. or uh, show up for someone right now. So I'm just, I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying that freedom. And, and I'm enjoying dating because I do love men. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. So, you know, there's no, I mean, the good news is I was, it was like dried up for a while. I didn't yeah. have anybody that was saying. Now there's like, you know, I've got a couple here and there and, and I'm okay. having fun with that. Now, I do think that 2024 for me will be the year that I do find love again. Oh, okay. Like a love, love, like love, maybe love. marriage love. Well, you know, three times the charm, right? Yes. <laughs> Been married twice already. <laughs> At least have a partner in life, you know? Okay. Are you married? I'm engaged. I saw that big yes. ring. Wow, it's so beautiful. Thank Congratulations. You. That's a big pair. I love that. A was, pair, that yes. was my first. This is my <gasps> second wedding ring. I oh, made, but I love that. I made it into a pinky ring. <laughs> Oh my God, wait, I'm obsessed with this. Wait, I'm, that's from the first marriage? Well, I lost my pair. Oh, yeah. Pa at a okay. spa. Oh. Uh, uh huh. I took wait. it off. Don't ever take it off to put lotion on your body. So no. I took it off to put lotion on. And, and so the cow, I said to the cow, I said, um, I lost, you know, I didn't tell him the truth. No. I told him I lost it swimming in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> not, not because I of lotion. I couldn't face him. <laughs> no. Not a five carat diamond. He's oh like. Oh my God. I, I couldn't tell him I left it on the sink at the spa. So um, now he knows. But anyway, I go, <laughs> and, and I go, well, can't you get, I need another ring. And he said, well, you know that diamond necklace my father gave you? Well. That's you take you use that diamond, so I made this ring. So uh, it's really kind of my second in terms, not second marriage, but second, second wedding ring wedding that I have ring. not lost. Oh uh, well, it's beautiful, <laughs> beautiful, you. beautiful. Thank you. Would you want if you got married again? Would you do a different like you had a pair? Now you have that. And what yeah. was Tom's ring? Tom's was um, 
emerald cut, right? Oh, okay. Em- well, the square. The square. It, the the square, that's emerald. emerald. Yeah, yeah, emerald yeah. Um, it was a yellow canary. It was beautiful. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember. It was yeah, beautiful. I remember it was that. big. Yeah. I sold that one. I was going to say, what did you do with that? <laughs> sold that one. I didn't want to keep it. No, I no. guess. Bad juju. Bad juju. I didn't yeah. want to look at it anymore. No, okay. Because it's not like he made you give it back. I guess that's no, no, I married him. I'm keeping the ring. <laughs> I'm I keeping mean, the ring. I mean, if you're ring. engaged and you break it off, then you give back <laughs> then, the ring. Okay. But if you get married, then okay. it's yours, darling. Then it's yours. <laughs> it's a keeper. You don't talk to Tom anymore, do you? No. No. I didn't talk to Tom. I, I never saw Tom before I married him, and I haven't seen him after. Isn't that crazy? What a wild time. Isn't that wild? That yeah. was a wild time. I know. It's like a blip on the screen. But now. we're manifesting a great big love for yeah. you in 2024. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, the what is it? The guy, there's... There was rumors about Joe Bradley. That's not going to happen Darling, for the big love. 28 years old. <laughs> what did he say? 28 and a half. I'm like, say 28. Don't say half. You Don't sound like a half. child. That makes it worse. Uh, it makes it so much worse. <laughs> um, you know, no, I'm not into 20-year-olds, but we did have a chemistry. And okay. we did hang out, that's for sure. Um, had some fun. We had some fun. Yeah. And, uh, and that was it. Okay. <laughs> and then the other guy that... I've seen you spotted around with as Olivier. Olivier. Oh. Olivier. The way that I just butchered that. <laughs> <laughs> the way that I just butchered <laughs> his a, name. That's okay. Well, you know, he's the brother of the fr- ex-French president, but um, we've known each other for a while. Okay. And we're, you know, we're friends. That would make sense. Yeah, well, we speak French. You know? Yeah, it would make sense. You could go live your life in France oh, and Provence don't worry. I don't in need the a man, summer. I don't need a man to do that anymore, Oh, that's so true. News. Oh, my God, yeah, I could go. I could go and... Sail yeah. off, you know, to Europe tomorrow, but uh, I have work to do here still. You have, oh I've, my gosh. You, you need to keep me on television, right? Uh, well, I saw mm. your Instagrams mm. last night, and I feel like you had a blast at the Abbey. Uh, we did. <laughs> <laughs> we were dancing. We had such a good time. You know, after dinner, it's good to go dancing. Yes, it's you know, totally. You move the body around, digestion and all that stuff. I you know? mean, I, it's so good for <laughs> it's digestion. So it's so freeing. <laughs> And you're ramping up. I mean, you also have to get your, like, mm-hmm. dance moves warm for your sure. big show in L.A. Yeah, yeah, for a Friday night at the oh. Will Turn. Okay, <laughs> please tell us all about it. I mean, I feel like mm-hmm. I'm on TikTok all the time. Mm-hmm. And, of course, my TikTok is filled with housewives content because that's awesome. what I'm obsessed with. Awesome. And I saw you, like, rocking the bongos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's Yeah, so I iconic. played the bongos in the show. So this one specifically is is Mary F. Kill, and my inspiration has been really my fans. Every yeah. show I do, I do a Q&A, and, and without a doubt, I get asked the same question, Mary F. Kill. And so it was really inspired by the fans. I mean, I didn't know what Mary F. Kill was until I, until I started doing cabaret. Yeah. And I would get asked that question every single time. So it was, it was really my inspiration, and... Um, it's about, you know, the kind of guy we'd marry, the kind of guy we'd F, and the kind of guy we'd get rid of. You know, right. We're not killing anybody, but um, it's really about that and my stories, because the show is, I pick the music that I love, um, and then I go, okay, well, how am I going to get into that song? Um, and then I, you know, build the show around the songs, and then the stories come in. And then after the stories are done leading into the songs, that's when I go to the Giovanni showroom oh, and best. start working on what dress I'm going to wear yes. for that song in particular. Yes. And, you know, and it's so much fun. I love the creative part. You know, it's, it's, it's cabaret meets pop culture meets comedy meets a fashion show, really. It's, you know, it, it's so much fun, the show, and... And I wrote a new song. It's it's a dance song. It's um, again inspired by Mary F. Kill, and you know, there's a kind of guy that I'd marry. Yeah. And men I'd like to kill. Yeah. There's men that I would <laughs> f. You know, and so the song is all about um, about that basically, um, and that the premise is a game, and yeah. we all play it, right? So who do we marry, f and kill? You know, and that's what the show's really all about. You know, people have said to me. You know, I've been to, you know, Beyonce, I've been to, you know, other shows, but this show is like so much fun because they're really immersed and they connect with me. You know what I mean? And you can't quite get that kind of connection when you go to a big concert like that. You know, and that's what I love about Cabaret. Right. You know, it's very personal, it's intimate, um, and you feel like you're a part of the life, you know? I went to one of your shows. You did? Yes. And I have to say... 
so much fun, uh -huh. but you're, it's the audience that mm. like how you get everyone involved yeah. and it's all like-minded people exactly. in that audience because we're all fancy. You and housewives. It's so great because so much fun and people, you know, they, you know, the, the fans come dressed, they come in their sequins, yes. you know, <laughs> their, their statement Shumani necklaces yes. or their shirts that they made, which yes. say be cool, don't be like, oh, I'm you know, they, they just, um, sh you know, show up looking amazing. And that's such a huge nod to it's, me, you know, yeah. and, and they go out together after yeah. the show Oh yeah, because they have that common thread. They're right? They're friends, friends already. Exactly. Because, because, because you have this in common. Exactly. I always say I have a hard time being friends with people that don't like Bravo. Right. Like I just am like, what do we talk about? I know. Like, what, <laughs> what, are you, what do we talk right. about? Yeah. I mean, so it's, yeah, it's like a, it's a very connected kind of experience, totally. you know, and I love that for my fans. And you have other shows coming up besides the LA one, I right? I do. I okay. do. I'll be in Modesto, um, Sacramento in April. Amazing. Uh, San Francisco, but San Francisco. I think is sold out, but um, I'm doing more, you know, dates in California in April. So, you know, people can check it out on countessluann.com for tickets and dates on, you know, I'm going to London this year. <gasps> Oh, um, and international. I'm doing international. You wow. know, I've done, I do Canada, and um, now we're talking about Australia. So, oh my God, you know, the I'm down just having, under. I'm having the best going time. down under. I know. Maybe I'll run into <laughs> Alex and Simon. Could you imagine? <laughs> well, you know what? If I do get over there, I will invite them to the show. Yeah, you have to. Because I'm that you kind of girl. You have to. Yes, you are that kind I of girl. I am that kind of girl. Okay, before I let you go, though, I do want to do a little Mary F. Kill. Awesome, But Mar this one is a little spicy. Okay. So if you don't want to do it, it's okay, and we can cut it out. But uh -huh. Mary F. Kill, Ramona, Bethany, and Leah. Oh. Jeez. Yeah. Well, I'm going to marry Ramona because... Okay. She's done well for herself, and we can live between Palm Beach and the Hamptons. <laughs> true, true. Um, I'm definitely going to kill Bethany. And, you know, Leah's hot, so I'm going to F Leah. Because I also don't really want to get into the whole Leah thing, but were you surprised when all that happened? You know, listen, I know it's a struggle for her, and I understand that. Um, but but um, it's the housewives, you know? There's drinking involved. There's, yeah. you know... And I've been sober on the show for years. I mean, Ultimate Girls Trip, I was sober the first one. Kyle was like, you're not drinking? I was like, yeah. no. She goes, you don't drink? I said, no. And I think Kyle, I kind of inspired her a little bit to stop drinking. And um, and um, Crappy Lake, I was not drinking on that show with Sonia, thank God, because somebody had to be her snatch guard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, and then on this last Ultimate Girls Trip, I say, you know, um, I drink on occasion, and yeah. this is an occasion, you yeah. know, so um, I'm in a different place with all that, and I feel really good about that, finally, you know. Listen, you know, it, people rely on alcohol for all kinds of reasons, you know, um, and, but but nobody forces you to drink on the show. That's right. just not true. Right. It, that, that was the point. In fact, Bravo was very um, supportive of me not drinking, hmm. you know, always having the right things and options for me to drink, so. Totally. So, you know, um, if you have a hard time with that, then it's probably not a good idea to be on The Housewives. And we'll leave it at that. Exactly.